In this video, you will see what to expect during the Garland Police Department Civil Service Exam. The exam will consist of a multiple choice and physical fitness test. Each individual event is pass or fail. If you do not meet the minimum standards on any event, you will be dismissed from the applications process. Please wear comfortable clothes and shoes to the exam since a portion will require physical fitness. For the multiple choice exam, you must arrive at the testing location before 8 a.m. that morning. Doors will lock at 8 a.m. and no other applicants will be allowed to enter. No exceptions. If you are coming from out of town, it is recommended to make overnight arrangements to ensure you arrive at the testing site with plenty of time. When you report to the testing site, bring only your ID. Cell phones, laptops, backpacks, and purses will not be allowed into the exam. The exam will cover topics such as grammar, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. You are given two hours to complete the exam and must score at least 70% to proceed to the next step. Immediately following the written exam, those who score higher than 70% will move to the physical fitness test, which will consist of three parts. First, the applicant must complete a minimum of 19 push-ups. The applicant doing the exercise will have a spotter, which will lay down to make a fist on the ground under the person performing push-ups. You must start in the up position, bringing your chest all the way down to touch the spotter's fist and come back up on each push-up. If you must rest, do so in the up position. If you stay too long in the down position, your exercise will be terminated and you will be disqualified from testing any further. After the push-ups, the applicant must complete at least 29 sit-ups in 90 seconds. For this exercise, the applicant will lay on their back with their fingers interlocked behind their head. You will have a spotter which will hold your feet in position on the ground. If you must rest, do so in the up position. If you stay too long in the down position, your exercise will be terminated and you will be disqualified from testing any further. Finally, the applicant must complete a one mile run in 11 minutes or less. You must complete four laps around the track and with each lap you will receive your time and number of laps to go. After an applicant successfully completes the written and physical fitness exam, the background investigation process will begin.